We're going to make a push-in kind of animation similar to the last one, only this one will be more of a slalom. Let's make a new camera and this one is set to 28 millimeters and that's okay. This view on the left is the top view. It doesn't have to be a custom view. But for this animation, I prefer to use the top view. And of course, on the right is the active camera view. But let's work in the top view for now. Let's activate the position by hitting P and the A for the point of interest. First, let's uh, set a keyframe for the position back here, thereabouts. Let's move it to about here. Uh, a little more, maybe. Okay, that looks good. Make a position keyframe and a point of interest keyframe there. Let's move to about four seconds. Drag our point of interest to about there and drag our position to about here in front of the one. Let's move our point of interest directly in front of the one and let's move our position there. So you see you have two paths, one for the camera and one for the point of interest. This will become clear in a moment. Let's uh, now start our slalom. We want to go around outside the four. We could drag the x variable here, or the x axis, the x arrow, but that will create a keyframe for the point of interest, and we don't really want that right now. So let's just drag the position keyframe here, drag the position uh, value, actually, the x position value in the timeline, move forward to around the uh, neighborhood of the 3, and let's do the same thing over there, drag the x value to the left, let's move over to where the last one is, the number 2, drag that value so the camera moves to the right and let's see what that looks like see the four come around it see the three come around it see the two come around it and we come into the one and there we go let's see what that Previews like four, three, two, one, and dead. We can just adjust the keyframes uh, later, but what we get from this is that when we're using the point of interest, which is the default, and we drag the values for position in the timeline we can create an animation where the position of the camera moves but the point of interest just goes straight down the line, straight down the center. Okay? I hope that makes sense.